Welcome back to the new or the next build video for this year 90 uh, blockade runner slash falcon uh, What I want to go over in this video is show you how the engine block mounts onto the main rear section And then what my plan is for the engines to make them stay in their mounts so um, As you can see I've actually worked on this engine mount uh, filled sanded filled sanded till it's quite smooth to my liking I still need, need to finish working on the Scribing uh, you can use a scribing tool for that Two like this you get different types um, So basically the Rear of the body just clips into the section and then like I said before you can you, you get a screw for the top and the bottom Okay, that, that taps through you, um, I do not think it needs to actually tap into the pipe um, Possibly I'll see when I get there Okay, so with this part you see it's flat on the bottom of the one section and this rear body's lower section is flat so that's the way they fit and this clips in and basically these fins slide into the holes okay and that's basically how it sits um you're welcome to glue this on when it's ready i think i'll be gluing mine on as well uh it does not need uh any well, it might not even need, need any glue because once you tap this through it goes right through the um through the part so okay so i'm not going to glue it i'm going to tap i'm going to tap it through and then that will be my method of holding it the pipe everything together and then your engines go into these holes engine mounts like i've explained before the only issue with that that i found like i've got it done in this here i glue the top and the bottom the uh, uh dish mount and the lower, in, lower quad antennas I've glued their parts in okay so it's coming together so on these parts on the engine mounts um, I found some of them are quite loose and if the model maybe tips they might fall out I do not like that so I'm going to provide 11 screws uh, for the 11 engines and I will be working well I haven't actually put it into the um, as part of the mold you're gonna to have to do it yourself so you're gonna to have to drill a hole countersink it and then obviously tap it like the usual into the uh, the mount part so on this one which is a lower section uh, you're gonna to want to do it on the inside okay and on the area where there's no detail and tap right through and then screw through and then tap into the section or both if you want to okay this is the Uh, engine mount okay and he's a uh, thing is quite long his rear section so that can be tapped on the inside of each one there there and there find a spot where there's no um, no detail and then you can paint the screw as well once it's in um, to remove it you're gonna have to, to remove this because like I explained before is with the central engine uh, with his, uh, central section there it is okay i'd say put the mount for him in the, in the bottom the mount screw so for this one this screw holding this on is going to be holding this so you, it's going to tap through the rear section of the of the mount so if i push this in You can see it sits right on the edge, so it'll tap through it. So to remove this, you're gonna to have to remove this first. So I would not recommend gluing these engine mounts in. Have them loose, so you can pull it out. And then you're gonna have, you can have space to unscrew this, these two. That'll release this um, side mounts, and then once they're out, you can unscrew the um, the engine. That's if you want to put lighting in. If not, feel free to glue everything together. For me, it's nice for transport. If you want to take it somewhere or go to a show, you can disassemble, put it in a box, reassemble very easily. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing all that before the next video. I'm drilling the holes and mounting them. I'm going to finish this engine block with all the plant-ons. Okay, um, and then filling the edges of, of where they're pretty obvious. 
I'm going to tap these side um, side mounts in, and then I'm going to put the smaller detail onto the rear uh, rear section. Okay, so this is the lower side. So on the top, um, these intakes, and then this detail over here, and the, and the four canisters on the back. I'll be gluing them on, and then I'm going to be working on the central section after that. So I'll come back in the next video, I'll show you what I've done, show you the mounts, show you how they go on and screw on, and then, um, then I'll do the next video after that. So thanks a lot. Cheers.